Welcome in to Olympus Titans for KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week. As we've got a top five matchup coming up for you, the Fremont Silverwolves and the Olympus Titans. Thank you for joining us, everyone. My name is Dane Stewart. Please be joined by Scott Kellner. Scott, Olympus, Fremont, two teams with respective hopes for their classification state championships. Going head-to-head, -head, should have a good one here this, this evening. Yeah, really excited for this game, Dane. Happy to be here with you. I think Olympus is going to be a, a good test for Fremont. Fremont is 6-1 and one on the season. They've put up a lot of points against teams early. Riverton, Cedar Valley, Roy, uh, this team can score. Looking forward to see what they can do against Olympus. They can score, and their one loss on the year, we'll talk about that in a moment, as Olympus comes out just like they do. That shot just wide, but boy, a good look there right off the faceoff. And I think the face-off will be a really interesting matchup, Dane. Um, Adric Burley, who takes the face-offs for Olympus, is a really strong face-off guy mm -hmm. and looking to see how Fremont can match up there. But also number one uh, right here, that's uh, Jerem. He's a sort of an interesting story. He was a converted, converted defender. Now he's playing short stick midi and uh, has really been lighting it, up, lighting it up so far this season for the Titans. Yeah, you talk about a team that has been – Really strong, as Olympus has been under Coach Merrill in terms of their offense. They've had games over 20 coming off a gritty win against Davis as we're going to get, yep, the first uh, flag of the game here should Fremont be able to secure possession as this retract by Holtby. But it'll be interesting to see, you know, the one loss for Fremont, talked about they lost to Brighton 7-5. That was a game where both goalies for Fremont and Brighton made a number of saves. Coach Searle was super impressed with both goalies in that one, and so it'll be interesting to see how Sousa does against this Olympus D, but how the Olympus D does as, as well against this high-scoring Fremont offenses. That pass out to Burbage was a bit off track. Again, yeah, Fremont had it there. They'll blow because of the flag. Yep. So here we'll get uh, the first man-up opportunity for the Titans. want to remind you, the clock you see on your screen, unofficial. At times we start it early, stop it late, that sort of thing. Keep it trued up with the clock here in the stadium. As Barry whistled here. 30 second man up for the Titans. Really important on man up to just make sure you're moving the ball quickly. And everybody needs to be a threat and try to get the defense to pack in. Nice pop out there by Burley. Yeah, work to the edge here. That shot saved by Souza. This young man, so good for Fremont last year. Had an injury in the playoffs. Prohibited him from playing deep in the playoff run of Fremont. But, boy, he's mighty talented and uh, just a junior in cage for the Silver Wolves. This up. Isaacson trying to get it there for Fremont. Ground ball here picked up by Isaacson. Boy, look at that Olympus Ooh. D. I feel like it's going to be really important for Fremont. You know, we know this team can score. They've put up a lot of points so far this season. I feel like it'll be really important for them to kind of get in a groove early mm. and, you know, attack the goal, try to get something to go early and hopefully set them up, you know, with some momentum for the rest of the game. They are playing without a couple guys today, injuries and other factors. So opportunity for young men to step up for the Silver Wolves. But they got all their top scorers, including Searle, Isaacson, Hill, Barry. Those are familiar names on that group that made – Playoff run last year, all back for Coach Searle. This is Carson Isaacson, now a senior. Plays back behind the goal over here with Hill. Oh, how about that oh, nice. shot? Early goal for Fremont. That is Davis Searle with the first goal of the game. Yeah, just a really nice off-ball move there by Searle. Coming around the goal, uh, just so much speed, turns and shoots. Had a good angle, put that put that ball away corner too. Just great shot placement as well. Uh, that's what I was talking about. Fremont needs to get yep. going early. And um, if, if they can get their, their goal scorers going, get that confidence early against an Olympus team, that'll serve them well. Yeah, absolutely. Another draw here. Draw. <laughs> That's what I get for calling girls lacrosse and boys at the same time, Scott. A face off win here by the Silver Wolves. Is Searle bringing it ahead. 
it's one of the things when you play against Olympus, really possession nine-tenths of the law, right? So important to not let Olympus get into their offense with the scoring ability their offense has. And so Fremont, some early possession here, certainly held their defense out. Olsen tried to get that inside with Hill. Jarred loose, ground ball. And that corralled by Olympus, but couldn't keep it in. How about the pressure there of Fremont Scott? Oh. Barry. Searle working away from that screen. Bounce shot and a nice. goal. A pair of goals for Dana Searle in this first quarter. Yeah, again, Searle, similar spot to where he shot the last goal. Mm -hmm. So, uh, But that time he started at top of the box. Olympus needs to figure out their slide package if they're going to slide on dodges like that. I mean, it seemed pretty well contained. It was just a great shot again by Searle. That's where we talk about a young man. It, it, I should have looked this up last year. I want to say he had around 50 goals last year, if mm. I recall correctly. Back again this year. Again, there's a lot of offense back for the Silver Wolves. Nice ground ball there by Jerem. Here is Gilbert. Works to the middle. Ooh, Smith. Big wind up wide. I know you're a big fan of Sam Smith. Yeah, Sam Smith is an All-American all-state candidate, leader on this team. Really athletic pole. So Olympus with Gilbert here. Good job drawing the slide, gotta move it. Works back, now to GLE. Back at X. This is Clayton. Clayton coming around. Oh, good find right in front, but Cummings couldn't corral it. Kept here, wind up, shot, and that was deflected. Nice piece of work there on the defensive side. By number 18, don't have an 18 on our roster. Ooh. Sent up. Good possession here for Olympus. Gilbert into the teeth of that D. Jarred loose. Olympus able to retain it. Cummings. Given back. Coming around. Oh, nice shot. Beautiful finish there from Charlie Droich, number six on the year for Charlie. Yeah, really skilled finish there, the sort of backhanded shovel shot. You know, it's a nice way to get something on goal when you're coming around that crease with the stick in your right hand. That's great recognition, too, and, you know, you have the physical play up top. You work that ball back behind. You get Droich one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. And Going top shelf, it's a nice finish. Yeah, and Olympus needed to get on the board to try to kick, take control of this momentum. Yeah. Adric with a nice face-off win there. GLE again, Fremont racing back defensively. That pass deflected. Scooped up by Burbage. Given right back. Droich, another shot. That saved by, by Souza. Mm. I think he wishes he had that one back. That, you know, could have been a put a could have been a goal if he had put it on cage. Five and a half to go here, opening quarter. A top five matchup in the state here with Fremont and Olympus. Coming around was looking right in front there. I think for Droich, uh, that worked. Dribbled through Gordon with it here for the Titans. Number nine is a freshman. Uh, Edison Cutler. Really talented young player, number nine. Getting minutes in a varsity game. Here's Droich. 
Boy, Fremont there defensively did a good job to seal that. Ooh. That picked up by Fremont. Here comes Searle. You know, I mentioned Searle had, I think, over 50 goals. Just over 50 goals. He had 76 last year. Oh, my goodness. Carson, Carson Isaacs and his teammate had 73. Good help there. Worked over with Isaacson, Carson. That was Peterson able to come out there defensively. That was, de no, I thought that was a shot that was deflected, but it was a pass over and a good save on the shot there by Lincoln Miller. Johnson with the save. Coming down. Burbage. Olympus bringing players on. Wixom here. Running start for Jonas. Sends over. Mm. Shot. And that backed up. So coming starts it here for the Titans. Got the edge coming around shot and that hit off the post. That was a nice shot by Cummings. So yeah, hard to defend. He had that step. Yeah, so hard to defend. Here's Burbage. Coming around was Clayton. There's the edge again. That shot wide mm. and just backed up. Boy, I thought that went in initially on the look there for Holtby. Yeah, it was a great dodge. Tons of room. Just taking all that speed down the alley. Gets his hands free. Olympus is getting good looks. Their speed has been evident in this yeah. opening quarter. We were talking about, I mean, they, Olympus likes to attack. I mean, they mm -hmm. definitely like to attack on offense, get lots of looks. They have two great attackmen, really athletic midfielders. You, you better pack your defense when you play the Titans. Droich gives it back with Cummings. Cole here sends up. Bounce Ooh, shot nice. and a goal. And Olympus has tied it up on the look from Jonas Wixom. Wixom. That reminded me of a that was a Colin Madsen special right there. A three quarter arm bouncer. Shout out to Colin Madsen, the assistant coach for this varsity program, buddy of mine from Westminster. The guy loves shooting three-quarter round bounce shots just like that. <laughs> it's like he almost coaches this team or something. You'd think, right? Yeah. So Olympus gave up the first two. They've scored two. We're tied up. 90 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Another face-off win for the Titans. Burley works over. Quick ball movement. Ooh. Coming around. Shot in that save. Off the pipe. Oh, was it? Yeah. Out of play. It'll stay here. Adric's so good at just winning that ball out in front and creating fast breaks off the faceoff. It's so hard. Oh, nice. good find in front. Oh. Man, you make the goal, you make the first move, and how about the finish and the goal for Andrew Clayton? Really great job just being patient, throwing a fake, uh, making uh, Carter bodily. Um, 
bite on it. Or sorry, that's not bodily. That's Sousa. That's Sousa. Pardon me. Yeah, that's a hard thing, right? You get one-on-one -on -one that close and... I mean, if you're good with that possession, you can get that goalie to move. And yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You got If you're in that close, you got to throw a fake. But it's, sometimes it's hard to be patient. You know, right. Sometimes you just, you just want to, ah, I'm right in front of the goal. I got to shoot. A face-off win here for Fremont. Important for the Silver Wolves there to not let Olympus find that momentum. Yeah, right? find too much. Yeah, that was an important face-off win yep. for sure. I saw with American Fork a couple of years ago, when you've got a really good face-off guy, man, it changes the game. It changes it. It changes it so much. And they're actually talking about changing the rules a little bit, too. To Out sort of the cage? To take, uh, take the emphasis uh, a little bit off of the face-off, make it a little bit less specialized. Uh, they're talking about getting rid of the clamp, um, oh. which is sort of the, a key element of face-offs. Um, and so not sure if that'll pass or not, but... Final. Having a strong face-off guy does impact the game <laughs> It so makes a much. big difference, yep. Inside the final 30. Isaacson. We'll work back up. Here's Searle. Had a step, the shot. That Ooh. hit off the post. Shot by and able to be gathered by Johnson. Olympus looking for the last opportunity. Final seconds. Ooh. Oh, boy. Flag down. Yeah, penalty flag has come on. And it's a contact sport, but not that kind of contact. Yeah, I'll be interested to see if that was if they call it high, or if they said a legal body check, or if they call it an unsportsmanlike. We'll see what the call is. Yeah, we will. We will see. It's the end of the quarter. We're going to step away as they'll have a look at the injured Olympus Titan. Three, two, Olympus leading Fremont. You're watching KSL Sports Rewinds game of the week. The start of the second quarter, it was good to see Greg Peterson was able to stand up, jog off. He looked like he was okay. It is a two-minute illegal body check here to Searle to start the second quarter, So, and it's non-releasable. So a big opportunity here for Olympus. We talked about, Scott, you don't want to get that momentum, and yet they're going to have two minutes here to seize all the momentum they can here for the Titans. Yeah, super important for, I mean, I think it'll just give this man up team a lot of confidence if they can find the back of the net. Uh, you know, a good man up team should score on about 40 or 50. You know, really good man up team will score on 50% of their opportunities. Mm -hmm. A good one will score on 40. And so I think, you know, we'll see if Olympus can uh, line up with those stats here. They've, well, had, one, they've had one opportunity already. So. Yep. They got a score on this one. And I was going to say, I think with the speed we've seen and the ball movement, you know they'll get shots off. It's just whether they can beat Souza. Ooh. This one kept by Burbage. Looking in front, and that couldn't be handled. Gathered here by Robbins. Near the timeout. Yeah, timeout, timeout here, Fremont. So. 40 seconds of that two minute have been burned off. Timeout, Fremont. We will step aside. You're watching KSL Sports Rewinds Game of the Week presented by Heidemann and Associates. Welcome back. How about that shot here at Olympus High School? You see the snow capped mountains. The field's clear. It's been a chilly game, but a good one back and forth here, Olympus and Fremont. Ball's going to start with number five, Caden Berry, down on the far side of the field on the number 20 yard line. And if you're Fremont, this is all about just expiring the next 70 seconds, right? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, boy, that one. Interception there. Yeah, racing back, and Sousa was able to get back. And now we've got a timeout being taken by Olympus. So the Titans using their first timeout of this first half. We'll stay here. We've had a couple of quick commercial breaks, so we'll stay here. We want to thank our sponsors that make this stream possible. A reminder, Heidemann and Associates, is a full-service law firm. Whatever your legal needs may be, they can take care of you. They've got law offices located along the Wasatch Front. They can also meet with you virtually. And if you tell them Rewind sent you, you'll get a free consultation. Just give them a call, 801-472-7742, for your free legal consultation from Heidemann & Associates, or you can visit them online at utah.law. We also want to remind you, it might be spring in Utah, but you know what that means? It's winter part two. So if you're out in spring sports, there's nothing better to keep you warm than your igloo. Check out Igloo Outfitters. That's I-G-L-U, igloooutfitters.com. They're weatherproof. They're going to keep you nice and warm. I wear my igloo all the time when I'm outside. It is the most warm item you'll have. It'll get you through winter part two here in Utah. 
And if you use the promo code Rewind, you'll get $20 off your igloo. Again, that website is igluoutfitters.com. Man up Olympus for the next minute. I think Coach Merrill really just kind of wanted to get organized on man up, seeing after two sort of tough goes on man up, just mm -hmm. trying to get guys organized and focused. The Fed right in the, in the middle. middle. It's kind of a force. Yeah. Yeah. You saw a plethora of silver rolls around. Uh, ground ball here. Olympus had it momentarily. Good hard check there by Burbage trying to keep it. That was a loose ball push. Yep. So it'll stay white. Boy, Fremont's making it tough here, playing man down. Worked over Burbage. Now GLE is shot nice. in the goal. Oh, good ball movement there from Olympus, and it's Cole Cummings able to finish it off. Yeah, nice job by Cummings there to sort of find the little bit of the soft spot in the zone, take a, take a step upfield, increase his angle, and then great shot placement, low and away corner, really tough to save for the goalie. I like that Olympus did a better job of keeping that ball high, sucking the defense mm -hmm. up, and that gave Cummings the opening uh, down in the corner. Again, non-releasable, so uh, Olympus still man up here for the next 22 seconds. I know you never want to give up a man down goal, but if they get out of this with just the one, I think they'd be pretty happy. Yeah. I mean, they've been man down for two and a half minutes already this game. Yep. Worked to the edge. Ooh. A shot and a goal. Back-to-back -back goals for the Titans. It's coming again. And that's really, again, the faceoff with Adric. Just so strong on the faceoff. Does a great job. But if we talk about sort of like Deuce's Law or pick it up, give it up, really, you know, just advancing the ball upfield, and then that let, that let Cummings, you know, sort of a free run at the goal. Um, but, yeah, just great play by Adric to win the faceoff and then throw the ball upfield fast. And how about five unanswered goals for the Titans, too? Yeah, I mean, it's it's I've, it's – it's tough. I mean, they're doing great at face-offs. They're attacking. They're being really aggressive, taking advantage of opportunities. Another face-off win. They've got to be 65% from the uh, the X today. Is this one backed up? That was wide by Jerem. Jerem Gilbert sent that one wide. Wixom's on. So here's Holtby, run and start for Weston. A little left-handed shot. That was deflected off of a Fremont player high in the air. Kept here by Olympus. Cummings again, looking for the Ooh. hat trick. How about three straight goals for Cole Cummings? What a second quarter for the senior. He's just, Souza's having, uh, you know, all these shots are just really well placed. I mean, that one, he pulled that one near corner. Just Cummings just doing a really good job of picking his spots on the goal. He's, he's you know, some of these shots are pretty low angle, but still really tough for Souza to even get a re. He's so good at really winding up and hiding that ball, too. It's really tough for Souza to get his eye on the ball and track it. It's uh, The light out here might be kind of tough, too, sort of like these dusk. Twilight time. We talked about it. it's gotten dark. and I mean, the stadium lights are on, but, man, you're in a tough transition time in terms of light. How about the long pull? Oh, and that one just hit off the pipe. A change-up look there that almost beat Souza. Able to fend it off. And now Olympus setting up here once again. We talked about them. A lot of momentum now for the green and white. Cutler given to Burbage. They love trying to exploit these shorty on shorty matchups behind the goal. See that help coming over. Mm. That was Robbins. And this will go to Fremont. First time the Silver Wolves have had possession really in this second quarter. Yeah. This will be a really important clear. We'll see how uh, Olympus, a strong riding team. They spend a lot of time talking about riding, focusing on riding, and they let a guy slip out of the box. Here comes Jordan Hill. 
literally had the possession for about 10 seconds during that man down. They hadn't had it outside of that this whole second quarter. So see if they can settle back into their offense. Scored the first two, haven't scored since. Here's Searle. Work backside, good find, and Johnson with a nice save. He's settling into this game for the Titans. And we have a timeout. Yes, we do. Timeout Olympus as they were trying to keep that ball. It was good work by Gabriel Gordon. And the timeout will save the possession for Olympus. Timeout, 7.50 to go. You're watching KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week. Welcome back. We talked about Olympus in the coaches' poll, ranked third. Fremont ranked fourth, a top five battle. And for the Titans, look, a good win against Lone Peak, 12-2 to start off the year. They defeated Judge 10-8. That Judge program is on the rise. And then coming off the win against Davis 7-5 and early returns in this one, in this top five, looking favorable for the Titans. Yeah, I think they, they haven't been ranked on max preps yet because they haven't played enough games. But, uh, yeah, like you said, the preseason coaches' poll, they were top five, and it looks like they earned that ranking uh, yeah. so far. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, big save there by Souza. That was a big wind-up there from Peterson, but I loved, I think it was Weston Hopi who just ducked. He really <laughs> got down on all fours. Like, I'm not getting the way of that one. <clears throat> That's a big save for Souza, though. Barry bringing it ahead here for Fremont. When you haven't had much possession, Scott, how do you get back into the rhythm of your offense? You know, that's a it's a good question, Dan. I mean, I think it's always going to be you're going to want to just take a nice, big, long, safe dodge. That's what I always try to coach my kids on is just, you know, take a safe dodge down the alley and, you know, let's just try to get some slides going. You know, let's just try to get some slides, focus on matchups and uh, – Ooh, nice shot there by number two. Yeah, a little no-looker there that was fended off, but multiple flags Isaacson. here on the play. Yeah, flag down. opportunity for Fremont here to go man up, I believe. But, yeah, it's tough. When you're, when you're on a drought and you're struggling with momentum, I mean, I always think just getting a big, long dodge from up top, uh, you know, try to dodge on a short stick. And then just everybody also needs to, you know, move off ball. You know, try to play as a unit, move off ball. Uh, you know, the attack needs to rotate. The midfielders need to exchange or or uh, set an off-ball screen or something. But I think just everybody needs to be involved, in, and uh, that starts with a nice big dodge. Well, a man-up opportunity could help. It's a one-minute slashing call on Peterson. So Fremont, see if they can take advantage as Isaacson able to regather. Fired right back. Looking inside. Mm. Well, that was Hill that tried to send it out and can't track it down. It'll go back to the Titans. You know, and a couple of Titans were there on Hill. I don't know how easy it would have been to get a shot off there, but if you're going to send that back out, boy, you got to convert it because now Olympus can just take that man down away. Yeah. Yeah, great clear by Olympus right there. You know, man down. I think they had that about was, 15 more seconds. That was that was Chase Taylor who just blew past the Fremont ride. Great effort there by Taylor. And now final Olympus seconds. Can just play catch in the fat part of the field up here and kill the penalty. Yep. Big momentum. Wixom trying to play that over. Deflected. Back to even strength. So nice job by that Olympus D, able to fend it off, swept around. Ooh, nice. that was great play. And again, 18. We don't have an 18 on yeah, the roster, shoot. so our apologies. But a crafty play there. Love the way he played that. And Fremont able to set up again. Five to go here in the first half. Your two runner-ups from last year. Going head-to-head. -head. Fremont lost a corner. Olympus falling to Park City. Oh. 
Isaacson coming around, sees a little lane, and that one wide. Shot by Isaacson. Backed up by Fremont. Possession stays flat. Boy, good D there. Right on him is Dimitri Savas. Mm. Set up here with Olsen. Barry coming around. Couldn't get a shot away as Sam Smith was right with him. Fed in front. Good find. Oh, and that Ooh. didn't go. Is that off? It must have been off the pipe. It bounced off something. It, it bounced off something. They're saying the save by Johnson. I, I won't disagree. <laughs> I don't know that he saw where that was. It was a heck of a job to keep that out. And now Olympus with a possession. I mean, great look by Fremont, though. I mean, that's yeah. what you need to do. I thought they did a better job executing. They ended up getting really high quality look at the end of that possession. You know, maybe just an inch the other way, and that would have been a goal. So Burbage here. Back to X. Had that quick step coming around. Oh, what a move. Burbage with a shot, and that is saved. The second oh. opportunity scored. It's Charlie Droich with the follow-up after a beautiful move by Burbage. Yeah, just really nice. That's they call an inside roll. I love, you know, I was a big fan of the inside roll. <laughs> uh, Burbage with a nice one there. And, uh, yeah, that was just off the pipe, and then... Um, or sorry, Burbage got to Burbage got to clean that up, but yeah, really beautiful inside roll there to get a high quality look. Seven two, the advantage for Olympus. And that's picked up by the Titans. Gordon. Man, he's been good holding that with fiscal Fremont. Silver Wolves trying to force turnovers. Holtby. Holtby coming back to the middle of that shot wide, backed up. Cummings, three goals in the period. Big wind up. Oh, top side. What a finish. Gabriel Gordon with his first goal of the game. Gosh, I mean, he must have been 18 yards. I mean, that was... That was pretty deep. Uh, but does a great job winding up again, hiding his stick, making it hard for Souza to get his eyes on the ball as it releases. And it's now eight unanswered goals for the Titans. Another face-off win here for Burley. Look out. A shot is wide, backed up here. Yeah, great effort by Burley there. Clayton. Coming around. Oh, you see the physicality. That hit off the helmet. And that will go. Well, that's going to stay in play. Tracked down by Holtby. Clayton coming around that screen of Droids. Looking back for Charlie. Gilbert going to come up here for the Titans. 
inside the final minute. Droich coming off the screen, has some space, the shot, and that is backed up here. Thirty seconds left. You take the last shot here, Scott. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, if you can, if you can get a good look, they got Jerem on a shorty behind the goal. That's sounds pretty good. Gets the shot off. Uh, that shot was high. That one deflected. And Fremont has it. Mm. I've got whistles here. A hold oh. of keep it here with Olympus. 1.9 seconds left. Can get one more look, a big one, and that is wide, and that will do it. An 8-0 run by the Titans to finish off the first half. They lead Fremont 8-2 at the break. You're watching KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week, presented by Heidemann and Associates. Welcome back. Getting ready to start the third quarter. Olympus, Fremont, KSL Sports Rewind's game of the week. Fremont scored the opening two goals. Since then, it's been an 8-0 Olympus run. Dane Stewart, Scott Kellner. Scott, your thoughts on that first half? I just thought Olympus really came out and dominated the face-off X, and then were just really attacking on the offensive side of the ball. They've also done a good job of making sure Searle does not get, you know, easy looks or open looks on the offensive end, so kudos to them. I'd like to see Fremont, you know, sort of come with that sort of same energy that they had early in the first quarter where they scored those first two goals. Uh, you know, we'll see if they can make that happen here, but it's tough when Olympus is winning so many face-offs. Yeah, when you can't win a face-off, of course, you know, if you can get a turnover, that, that will help. But Olympus has not had a lot of turnovers today. They've played a pretty clean game. Yeah, they're, they've done a good job executing on offense, sharing the ball. One of the other things that we were talking about in the break, there's just so many guys on this on this team um, that can that can score the ball. Uh, really threats uh, at every position almost. And so it's hard to defend against. Yeah. And we got a – yeah, we're just playing on here. It was a loose ball push. Olympus had it, so we continue – it was uh, Cole Cummings that got it right now. He was really the difference. Had three goals in that second quarter. Uh, two, maybe all three of them were on that non-releasable uh, man-up opportunity for the Titans. But uh, number seven had a good second quarter. They'd love to get him or keep him going here, the Titans would. Here's Ben Burbage. Five different goal scorers today for Olympus. Good lane there. Burbage sending it back up. Holtby coming back. That shot fended off. Coming around. Holdby works back. That's the other thing to me. This The speed of Olympus has been evident from the get-go. That one sent back to X. Wrap around goal that Ooh. Sousa able to deny. Good save there for Riley Sousa. Fed out that Ooh. shot. Oh, what a shot. How about that look from Weston Holby as he goes top corner, 9-2. Holby's so good shooting, you know, so skilled with both hands. I mean, he's a left-handed player, but uh, took that shot right-handed. Uh, it's just so tough when you have players that can shoot with both hands, catch and throw well with both hands. Yeah. And just really great offensive set by Olympus there. Just great off-ball movement for Holby to get really nice look there from the wing. Well, and I love that pass back. I actually thought initially that was a shot, but it was just a rifle pass back to X. And then allowed the quick look to get it out. It's right off the faceoff. That one just misses. Backed up here again. See, there's no give up in Olympus. It is pedal to the metal. 
And I know that's how these guys are coached, is it's just always attack mode. Here's Wixom, had a goal in the first quarter. Gives this back to Gordon. You see him switching his hands. Again, you talk about the dual nature of so many of these Olympus Titan attackmen and midfielders. This one being battled for GLE, hard checking there coming away. Is Olympus wrap around? That shot just hit off the pipe, I think. Might have been just a touch off backed up here. Droich. That shot, no. And now here comes Fremont. Isaacson, I think. Nope, that's not Isaacson. I think it's Barry. He's got some room down the middle. I think it was actually Riley Taylor. I think it was number six there, but mm. just like that, Olympus comes back with it. It's so tough when you play defense, you get a stop, you get a chance to take the ball down to your offense and give it up and transition. Well, and how many times have we seen that where Fremont has had short possessions, Olympus has had long possessions? Well, it's, I mean, it's tough when you're when you're down and you want to try to make something happen. I mean, I always I always like to say that uh, momentum shifts happen in the middle of the field, so you want to try to make something happen in transition. But it's also a risk too. The last thing you want to do is turn the ball over and get stuck playing defense again. Cummings working back behind goal. Cummings, oh, how about able to keep it in, but no help around, and Fremont now working on the clear. Well, that's one guy against a lot of contact. We're talking about the Olympus offense, but how about the physicality there? The Titans getting it right back. Yeah, just the ride. The ride, the Titans are doing a great job of getting back and not letting Fremont get good clears. Fremont True. definitely struggling on the clear. Yeah, it feels like it's one against many in a couple different cases here. Hard to beat Olympus. And that's the case. Coming over with Cummings. So impressive what we've seen from the Titans in this one. We've got another game this week. They'll take on Bountiful here. But I think this is really one of those contests where Olympus putting their stamp on. Yeah, we we are, you know, one of the best, maybe the best team in 5A. Of course, they'll have plenty of opportunities in region to test that out with Brighton and Park City. Uh, they tried to get that top side with Clayton. And it will be Fremont possession. Yeah, they called an interference on Jerem. You're allowed to you're allowed to take man, like you're allowed to make contact with other players when the ball is loose on the ground. But you have to be within five yards of the ball. Mm. So Jerem, I think, was just a little bit too far away from the ball when he initiated contact, and they called the interference. That's why it's black ball. Here's Searle, excuse me, Isaacson. Carson, come around that screen looking for a shot, couldn't get it off. Flag here on the play. As this is Searle, try to get that over. Isaacson. Coming to the middle, a little bounce shot there, and that kept out. We did have a change in net at the half. My apologies, we missed it. Anton Goodick, the senior, has come in between the pipes for Olympus as he makes that save there, and now we'll get the call. Fremont will go man up. Yeah, Olympus does like to split time between the goalies, between Caleb and Anton. Both goalies are really great. Both goalies are seniors. Uh, 
you know, it's a real luxury for head coach Nick Merrill to have two goalies who could really be starters on, on any team. Yeah. Five eight. Both goalies are over 500 save percentage on the year. So you talk about how good they are. They are. And that's against, you know, two 6A teams and a team that I think most think is one of the top two teams in 4A, maybe the best team in 4A. And that one jarred loose by Peterson. Just, well, five minutes to go here. Our clock a little off. We'll get that caught up for you as soon as we can. Cummings here near side. Sends back up. Run and start for Gilbert. That's the other thing. They've really made Fremont chase today, haven't they? Yeah, it's just the ball movement is, is the ball movement's great. The dodging is great. The defense is having to work really hard to yep. just keep up. Well, because I think even the speed, right? There have been times where Olympus has been uh, very deliberate offensively, but people are always moving and yeah. having to track with the ball, without the ball. Cutler able to recover that. As they have fended off the man down. So back to even strength. Here's Gordon. Back with Wixom. Thought about a shot there. He goes to the turf. And now we'll get the whistle. We'll stay here with Olympus. Three thirty-six to go. And pushed out. It'll go to Fremont. Good work there on that back line. Really important clear here for Fremont. Yeah, they got to just get a good clear and give their defense a break. Boy, had a release. That's a nice play. They get that up. Long pull. Working in front. And we'll get a flag here behind the play. Thought about a send over. Big opportunity, that one high. And now we will get the call. I think the call there was on Savas. Call for the push, I believe. That's a 30-second man down here for Olympus. Just over three to go. Olympus has not given up a man down goal yet today. Hill gives that over. Quickly works with Isaacson. There's some space. Carson stepping up, looks backside. Ooh. How about the ball movement? That's Fremont as we've come to know him the last couple of years. Drew Searle with a great finish, just super quick. Super quick to get the ball out of his stick. Anton Goodick didn't have a chance no. to and, react to that. And you lose that near side edge, right? And now it's a two-on-one with their two top scorers. Right. Not many goalies going to be able to make a play in that situation. How about Searle has all three goals today for Fremont? That's that's it's tough when your offense is is uh, you know when you're putting so much pressure on one goal scorer. Yeah. It's really tough. When we talk about that return two that scored over 70 last year, Isaacson has not been left free except for in that opportunity there. This Olympus D has done a nice job. So we've got a timeout taken here by the Titans. Timeout. 2.22 to go. We'll take a quick break. Be back. You're watching KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week presented by Heidemann and Associates. Welcome back, Olympus Possession.
Cutler. A little bit of a lane there. That was off the side of the cage. So you see Souza trying to get on it and does. Fremont with a little bit of a run. Sent up, looking for help. Hmm. Well, another quick possession there before Olympus able to get it back. That one jarred loose. Hill looking for help. Here's Barry. Final minute of the third quarter. Isaacson. Defended by Savas. Coming over to help there was Peterson. Worked in front. That was deflected. Mm. Trying to get a look there for Hill. Good stick work there by Olympus. Yeah, it was a nice look. It was a nice look over the top of the goal to Hill. Just a little bit quicker. Getting that shot off it would have been a goal. Right through the middle with Peterson. Holtby, final 20. Winding up, firing mm. and scoring. Weston Holtby with his second goal of the game, 10-3. That was a great shot by Holpe. Just put that, stung that top left corner. I've been really impressed with Holpe's yeah. shooting. Uh, really just the shooting sort of across. I mean, they're putting good shots on cage. I mean, they're hitting corners. They're making it really tough on Souza. Nothing's been easy for him in between the pipes. Yep. Another face-off. Ooh, yep. Another face-off win. Face win well, they didn't get one more. Worked in front. Oh, taken away. Souza with a nice job yes. sealing that off to close out the third. 10-3. Olympus leading Fremont. We head to the fourth and final quarter after this. Start of the fourth quarter, 10-3. Olympus Dane Stewart, Scott Kellner. Scott, we talked about how good Adric Burley has been this year on faceoff. Coming in, his save percentage, you want to take a guess what it was coming into this game? Ooh, I'm going to say 60%. 9-17. He had lost one faceoff. And uh, he's lost more than one today, but not many more. He's been pretty stellar from the spot for the Titans all game long. And that just makes it so tough uh, when you're playing from behind and... And, uh, you know, really for Fremont to get back in this game, yeah, they're going to have to start to get creative. Olympus with possession again. Been the moral of the story today. Here's Cutler. Tripped up. Yep, there's a flag. And boy, Fremont can't get possession. Kept here with Cummings. Oh, trying to feed it in front. Mm. Just couldn't quite connect there with Droich. And now we'll get a call. Flag down on the field. So that was a hold. It'll be a technical 30 seconds. So Family Liner. With the uh, hold there.
Coming around, nice little move there. Shot wide, backed up. Shot by Burbage, backed up by Olympus. Possession stays white. All even. And Fremont kills it off. Sent up, good look. Mm. Boy, you knew that was trouble. They send it up high there to Droich, and he's going to find the back of the net on that shot most times. That could sometimes be a really great opportunity when the penalty gets released and you're sort of transitioning from playing like this zone to this man sort of sort of thing. It's sort of like an unsettled situation, really, and they were able to find... You know, Droids just found that soft spot in the yeah. zone. Nobody picked him up, just stepped right into it. It's a great look, too. Well, we've seen Olympus do that a couple times today, right? Work back to X, find kind of a cutter in some open space, and they've been able to finish that play. Another flag down. Yeah. So there's no... There's no penalty, yeah. Well, oh, there's no, a there man is. in the box, there is a yeah. Penalty. Yeah, so they yeah. do call the push there. Push with possession against Olympus. So it'll be 30-second man up here for Fremont. technical penalty is on number 32, Adrian Burley. There was a possession there. I didn't, yeah. Sent back up, flag here on this play. Everything outside here for Fremont. Work to the edge right in front, and that couldn't be handled. And now we will get the call. But, boy, a lot of that penalty coming off the clock there. In fact, all of it, I think they killed it all. Is This will be interference, so another 30-second call here. So we're still just one man down because yep. one penalty released. That's correct. That's one of the things I was wondering. That second penalty some comes so quickly. Do you just concede possession so you can get a two-man opportunity there, Scott? I... You know, maybe. I'm, I'm not. Uh, I mean, it's always nice to be six on four. But uh, the man down defense from Olympus today has been pretty solid. They got a great it look. Has they been. just couldn't handle the ball yep. right in front of the goal. Well, And really, it's been tough for Fremont to work it in front of the cage, whether it's been man up or even strength today. Olympus has really forced everything outside. Yeah, and that and then you know you add in the great goalie play from from Johnson. Yep. And now and from Goodick. Aaron and yep. from Goodick. And that's that's a recipe for a good defense. <laughs> you, trust your, you trust your goalie, you make him shoot from the outside. Yeah, that's the whole that's the whole philosophy around good team defense. Yeah, I mean this is the fourth game of the year for Olympus, and uh, according to my math, they've given up 18 goals now in four games. Four and a half per. You're going to win a lot yeah, of games. Yeah, you're going to win a lot of games. That's all yeah. you give up. You should always. The goal is always to score 12 and give up eight. And yeah, they are. They're doing well. You know, against that benchmark. In both of those. Yeah. Send back up. Oh, nice little move there nice. and a finish. The goal coming from number 31, Jonas Wixom, his second of the game. A nice little hesitation by Wixom there. And to get to get into the get into sort of the heart of the defense, and just really great hesitation. That's the thing that's impressed me about Olympus has been the balance. It doesn't feel like there's been one guy. I mean, Cummings had his three goal spurt, which was boom, boom, boom. Yeah. But it feels like you know, even Burbage, who doesn't have a goal today, has been very strong. Right. It, it's it's really been about like the collective of Olympus. You don't know who's gonna burn you next 
Yeah, it's it's so tough to plan for them defensively. They just do such a good job sharing the ball. And I think I think part of that comes from them just always being in attack mode. You know, just when you're always in attack mode, when you're always sharing the ball, you guys, everybody's going to get looks right. throughout the course of the game. Everyone's going to get a piece of the pie, and it's been that way today for Olympus. Worked here to GLE with Cummings. Seven and a half to go in the contest. Cummings working to Bynan. Strand. Barry there defending. Boy, you see Ooh. a couple couple cutters coming and they find Burbers. We said he hadn't scored. He has now. Yeah. yeah. That was just a great cut by Burbage. Really nice handle. That pass was a little high. But that's one of the toughest things. When you're when you're that cutting midi and you get that high pass. Being able to handle that, get the shot off quickly as he was running out of space, put that away on far pipe, just great. Yeah, yeah just very, very skilled. Well, you're going to make it hard on Souza in that case. We talk about how much Olympus worked back to X and to cutters, right? You're it's, trying to track the whole field there in a span of two seconds. Yeah, I, when the ball when when the ball is always up in front of Souza, it's easier for him to track the ball. But when those passes are coming from behind the goal to cutting middies, he hardly has time to turn right. around and react even find who caught the ball, you know, yeah. who has it. And then just combine with the really great shot placement. It's just so tough on A little bit of space wow. and another goal here for Olympus. It's Brigham Thompson, the sophomore, finding the back of the net. Olympus score comes at 636 remaining in the game. Assist number seven, Cole Cummings. Score. And starting to see a lot of room that Olympus is able to find. And you give room against this offense, it's going to be a tough day. It's going to be a tough day. Well, I don't they these guys obviously – do a lot of shooting drills because the shooting from everybody has been really top notch. <laughs> this is what a performance for Burley. It's really amazing. It is. <laughs> and and this is high school, right? Like to have a, someone that can be that dominative. I mean, it's just Possession after possession after possession. Like, good luck. Yeah, it's it's been fun. It's been fun to watch. Given right back. George thought about it. Oh, Cummings. That's a tough spot to be in. Still scrambling before picked up there by Robbins. The Silver Wolves running up. Given back, mm. shot there is wide, backed up. And I know Savis has had a couple of penalties today, but he's been really strong defensively. He's been a big contributor on taking away opportunities from Searle and Isaacson as a wraparound there. Save, what a save by Goodick. Yeah, it's a great save. Yeah, they've done the defense for Olympus has done a good job of not letting Searle get too loose with the ball. Taylor bringing it up. Cummings working back. Boy, Souza was behind goal without his stick, able to get back. Sent up here with Burbage. Run and start. The wind up. That was wide. Backed up here. 
shot by Gordon, backed up by Olympus, possession stays white. Approaching four to play. Cummings working back here with Bynan. Talk about next up for Olympus. How about this? Fremont starts region play this week. Next game against Layton. Man, it feels early to be in region play already. That's crazy. And down with Cummings. That pass off target, trickling up through the middle. Good pursuit there taken by Fremont. And here comes Isaacson. Has Searle. Has Isaacson with him over to Carson, the shot and a score. Carson Isaacson. Able to score for the first time tonight for Fremont. Way to just make something happen in, in transition. Sorrell did a good job of, you know, pushing to the goal and, and forcing Isaacson's defender to leave him and yep. then having, the, having his eyes up, getting the ball over to Isaacson. So now the two top goal scorers for Fremont, each in the scoring column. Prior to that goal, it was just the three from Searle. Facing off for Fremont, number seven, Branson Hyatt. For Olympus, 32, Adrian Curley. This one swept around. Fremont coming away with it. Ah, momentarily. Good at working up here through Mather. Boy, this Olympus team, we talk about the effort tonight. Again, Fremont came into the game ranked fourth, Olympus third. They'll have the, their opportunities to prove that. Brighton Park City region play, but what a start to the year for the Titans. As they'll improve to four and oh. What a start. I think all four of those victories are ranked against top ten ranked teams. All yeah, that's a pretty good resume. It's a flag here behind the play, but a team that was so strong last year and fell short in the state championship has been just beyond their reach the last couple of years. Certainly looking to put together another strong campaign this year. With Coach Merrill. A wind up there is wide, and now we'll get the call here, and Olympus will go man up. So thirty seconds. They call a moving screw. I don't know what this indication is. I don't. I I should know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is either, to be honest. Um, uh. It, it's a 30-second technical for the extended arm. Yeah. 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 I'm still coming off basketball season, so I'm still getting my mind into lacrosse. We'll, we'll get there. Here's Gilbert working over. That wind up. Souza on top of it. It's a good save. It was a 14-1 run from Olympus in this game. Started in the back half of that first quarter. Pretty impressive. And for Fremont, I know this is a game that they'll learn from. Very talented squad. I think still a squad in 6A that you should expect to hear big things from with 
Carson Isaacson, Davis Searle, Caden Berry, Owen Hill, Souza experienced back in cage. Tonight, not a reflection of the talent or capability they have, but just really overmatched against an Olympus team that came in focus. Ready to prove a point? They certainly did. Push to the corner. Not try to be kept in, but out of play. It'll go back here to Fremont. Yeah, it's tough. One of the, uh, in high school, you have to keep it in in the last two minutes when you're up. You have to keep it in the box. And it kind of just got stuck down there in the yeah. corner, nowhere to go. Coming around, working in front. Oh, and Hill couldn't get that on cage. Final seconds. Last shot Ooh. and a goal. Boy, right before the clock sounds as that goal scored by Carson Isaacson, his second. It'll count, but it won't be meaningful to the final score. 15, excuse me, 14-5 the final score. Olympus defeating Fremont. Scott, your final thoughts and a selection of a player of the game. Well, I, I feel like the player of the game goes along with my final thoughts. I feel like we have to give it to Adric Burley uh, just for how strong he was at the faceoff. Uh, really just dominated all game, and that really set Olympus up uh, to dominate the possession. And then I feel like the offense responded to that too. I thought the offense played really well. We talked about how strong uh, they play as a team. Just made it so hard on the Fremont defense uh, to cover everybody. And, you know, thought that Fremont did try to play hard. Glad to see Isaacson get some goals mm -hmm. and Searle get some goals. And, uh, and to your point, Sousa, an experienced goalie. I mean, their season's not over. This was a tough loss for them. But I think they'll still make, to your point, I think they'll still make a lot of noise, especially with region play starting up yeah. next week. Big statement win for the Titans. They defend home turf, 14-5. Your final score, Adric Burley continues his impressive start to the year from the spot. Your player of the game as he was dominating, helping to establish continual Olympus possession in the big win. 14-5, Olympus over Fremont for Vince Francis, Scott Kellner. My name is Dane Stewart. Thank you for joining us. And we've got games coming for you, boys, girls, the rest of the way as we'll take you all the way to the crowning of state champions right here on kslsports.com. Good night, everybody.